Hi everyone, and welcome to my video on sidereals in Akan. My goal for this one is that anyone that watches it can confidently do raid lead in Akan after watching it. Some of the sidereals are pretty much fixed, but there is definitely some room for sidereal variety in this raid. I will do my best to provide you with options that would work in almost any scenario, and give you my own preferences and thoughts on some of the different options as well. Let's get to it. Gate 1 First sidereal. In Anna, a couple of seconds after orb collection ends, or right as Maurog here gets up. In my Paladin clip, I throw it a bit too early, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, the timing here is pretty forgiving. The only difference is that In Anna will stay for a little bit longer. Advanced option. I ran 24 to 25 seconds after the stagger check before orb collection resolves. Getting this timing right can be pretty tricky, so I recommend sticking to Inanna. With lower DPS groups, you can use either of these after the cutscene, as the sidereal will still be up for 55 bar mech if you push slowly. Second sidereal. This is always going to be an Inanna at 55 bar mech. This provides a massive damage window. Throw it after the boss lands in the middle of the arena. Third set aerial, after the cutscene, after shield breaking mech at 16 bars. First option, Thyrain. Use when you know he will be still for a couple of seconds. If you want to be safe, you can throw as he lands after multiple jumps to do a counter. Second option, Inanna. Usually used in higher damage parties for comfort where Thyran damage is not needed. Just throw her at the start of the phase. Thank you so much for watching. 
if you made it all the way to the end, props to you. I can already tell you got what it takes to lead raids in a con. If you found it helpful, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. That way I can justify spending more time on videos like this one. Until next time, see ya!